Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, late last night, the situation in Israel and Lebanon has taken a turn for the worse. Uh, we are seeing the images here. This is on Channel 14, uh, their particular news platform inside of Israel. <clears throat> they are were reporting that in here, in, court, in the title of the article here, that Israel had decided to do a preemptive strike on Lebanon, uh, citing that uh, there were 700 rockets aimed at Israel. They targeted, according to the article here, some 6,000 rockets uh, inside of Lebanon's border there. And, uh, and of course, uh, uh, Lebanon vowing their revenge, vowing to retaliate Israel on the highest alert ever, 48 rockets. Um, and, uh, and, and of course, excuse me, 48 hours of their, of the next 48 hours, uh, warning Israelis that things are going to intensify. Uh, now they're saying they're expecting a retaliation from Hezbollah, but, and I'm sure Hezbollah will retaliate. But the question is, is whether or not, um, uh, Israel will, uh, uh, will actually do a second round of strikes uh, this evening. So we'll be watching for that ourselves and trying to cover that information if that were to be the case there. Uh, Al Jazeera sharing here their, uh, the IDF's head command talking about this, uh, this strike that was done on uh, Lebanon, uh, Hezbollah specifically in Lebanon. Listen in. Preparing to fire missiles, rockets towards Israeli territory. In a self-defense act, to remove these threats, the IDF is striking terror targets in Lebanon from which Hezbollah was planning to launch their attacks on Israeli civilians. This follows more than 6,700 rockets, missiles, and explosive UAVs fired by Hezbollah at Israeli families, homes, and communities since October 8th. Hezbollah will soon fire rockets and possibly missiles and UAVs towards Israeli territory. We will shortly update the Home Front Command defensive guidelines for those in Israel. From right next to the homes of Lebanese civilians in the south of Lebanon, we can see that Hezbollah is preparing to launch an extensive attack on Israel. While endangering the Lebanese civilians, we warn the civilians located in the areas where Hezbollah is operating to move out of harm's way immediately for their own safety. Hezbollah's ongoing aggression risks dragging the people of Lebanon, the people of Israel, and the whole region into a wider escalation. Israel. You know, with Israel's uh, preemptive strike in Lebanon, I would not be a bit surprised if they do not do a preemptive strike on Iran as well. But I think that Israel is going to wait uh, as this tension develops. Uh, to see whether or not uh, they can handle more than one front at a time. Gaza, even though that operation continues and the death tolls are staggering, um, it, it is still a matter of Israel having to limit how much and when they can actually do those fighting. Um, another thing, too, there has been a huge turn in Sudan. I'll talk about that later uh, may even add that our, our, onto our Patreon broadcast because of uh, an issue I want to discuss with that <clears throat> in more detail. But uh, we'll come back to that later. Here's uh, IDF. Yeah, hey, Kevin, good morning. As strikes. we speak, the Israeli Security Cabinet is convening following these preemptive Israeli strikes against the Iran backed group Hezbollah in southern Lebanon overnight. We understand that dozens of strikes were conducted against rocket and missile launching positions. New reports indicate that at least one of the launchers was aimed at Tel Aviv, set to fire missiles toward Israel's second largest city when the Israelis decided to act on the intelligence that they had and preemptively strike the Iran-backed group in southern Lebanon. We are continuing to gather information about this developing story. Israeli media at this hour is reporting that all beaches from an area just south of Tel Aviv the whole way to the northern part of the country 
along the border with Lebanon are closed. They're closing the beaches and one of the things that I think as far as the closing of the beaches that I find of an interest there is uh, because of maybe fear of even land invasions. Uh, I would not be a bit surprised if Israel, or excuse me, if Lebanon didn't try something of that magnitude, but we'll have to see, uh, wait and see on that. Uh, this is just a quick take of the broadcast here later today. Like I said, I want to be going on our Patreon channel, be discussing the floods, the crazy things that are happening around the world, earthquakes, volcanoes, and floods there. So please go subscribe there, patreon.com, Israeli News Live. Thank you and good afternoon.